Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar and this is another episode from the Bespoke Post series. I think we're also going to add this one on to another series and uh, that's going to be Camping and Survival. Now, as you can see, we've got a nice big package in today. Uh, very long, but lightweight. There's only like, I think, one thing in here. So let's open it up and check it out. All right, guys, so here we go. Uh, like I said, not much in there. There were actually two things. I forgot about the one. But, uh, and then of course I wasn't really counting the card here, but uh, as you can see, it says essential backwoods survival tips. And uh, on the back here, it, it says survival 101. It's uh, about the DIY fire starters, leaves of three, let them be, and spotting snake bites like a zoologist. So a little bit of information there for you. Uh, now this is the hatchet kit or the split kit is what they call this and uh, before we get into this one we'll go ahead with this and as you can see it says pull start fire and uh, this of course is has a uh, string here on the end here uh, one on either side and there is some material in here that uh, when you pull it it's going to act basically like striking a match but then you've got the material uh, that burns in here it burns for half an hour it says uh, you don't need matches. It is pretty much windproof up to about 200 miles an hour wind. So uh, if you're if you're making uh, fire and something that fast, I uh, I don't think you're going to be able to stand there and actually enjoy the fire that you make. And uh, then the nice thing is is uh, I think a huge part of it is because it burns for half an hour, it will light wet wood. So if it's out there in your in the rain and the muck and everything you have wood around but it's just you know it's been raining on it and stuff and so it's wet and you can't get it lit with a regular match something like this could uh, could do you it's definitely something that could be good in a survivalist kit uh, also good for in a camping situation if you just happen to be uh, camping and it turns out to be kind of crappy out and rainy and nasty so uh, nice thing to have for sure now the next thing we've got is this one here and this is by Bare Bones and obviously this is a hatchet. Pretty much just a straight wood handle. We do have an opening at the bottom so if you do want to add a lanyard or something like that you can. And then we have kind of that classic Bare Bones look where it is this uh, kind of canvas material, the green color that they always use. And just take and undo that and pull the axe mask off. And then you have the blade right there, which fairly nice blade, not super thick, not super thin. Uh, good, for, good for doing, obviously, uh, kindling and firewood and things like that. It does have on the back end a hammer, basically, is what that's set for. Uh, kind of an anvil style hammer. So uh, you can sit there and knock stakes in or things like that. Definitely see people taking ones like this and using them to throw and practice with. Uh, this, of course, is on the nicer end. Now, I don't know. In terms of balance, for those of you who do do things like that, uh, I don't know how well this is, but it does seem fairly nice. Um, this is obviously cast. Uh, and then they have the bare bones uh, put in there. I'm guessing that may actually be put into the cast, and then they just grind the tip, uh, the face there. Uh, one thing it says first off is be sure to set the axe head. Uh, and then it tells you the whole kind of situation there. So th the nice thing about that is if the handle basically goes to crap, you know, you've had this, maybe you've had this for years or for some reason uh, it got left somewhere, left in a driveway and it's laying there, car drives over it and snaps the handle. Well, you're not out a whole ax. Now all you have to do is just get a new handle. You can take and uh, slide this head right back up on there and seat it down so that it is on there nice and tight. Obviously down at this end it's a little bit thinner than it is up at the top and uh, so you know that's how a hatchet's made where you just slide it on. It's not one that uh, is uh, all one piece or anything like that obviously. But uh, yeah you can see the oval shape there and uh, that's basically all you'd have to match if you needed to replace the handle. But this is definitely going to be a nice one. Um, I may use it for some throwing. I uh, will definitely be using it to split wood with. Uh, now this isn't super sharp edge. This is not a shaving edge. 
this is up here it's a little sharper than it is down towards the bottom so I may stone it a little bit to, to uh, clean it up and sharpen it up just a bit now if you guys want to check this out or any of the other bespoke post uh, products that have been out there you can go down there in the description below I will have a link just copy and paste or click on it however it works and that will take you straight to their site the nice thing is if you use that one you will get twenty dollars off of your first purchase forty percent discount right there so uh, you know go ahead and do that uh, obviously while you're down there you can check out the other social media and uh, there is that PayPal link down there if you want to help out the channel I definitely appreciate that don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell so you know when I've got new videos coming out here on World of Me. Alright guys, I'm Cougar. This is the World of Me, another episode from the Amazon Review Series. I'd like to wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye!